Hey guys, Dr. Plays Minecraft here. This video, I am doing episode 2 of History Lessons. This video, I am doing the light cruiser known as the Simmons. Now, this ship was designed in the first era of the BCE. It was the third ship designed by the BCE right after the Mark II. And its main feature was the fact that it was able to stand its own ground against enemy warships for fighters. Basically, this ship was a completely dedicated warship. It took the BCE quite a long time to build the first one of these, but after the first time they were able to start mass producing them slightly slower than the destroyer class, but nonetheless it was still a very good ship. Now armaments. Basically it really has one main gun as you can see, and it's also the first ship that the BC has designed. Well actually it's the first ship that the BCE or BCG as they were known back in the ancient era. This is the first ship that featured the logic or main circuitry of the cannon underneath the turret. So instead of actually being inside the turret and being a lot more exposed, it was instead placed within the ship. As you can see, they couldn't really perfect the, the design that well, as it was pretty complex for the mind at the time. Just mainly because they weren't used to it. And it was also the last ship for a while to use this technology, as at the time it was unreliable. Half the time. So, half the time the cannon would actually explode and leave the ship a sitting duck, basically. Now it also has AA guns on the front, or on the broad side, on both sides, and it also has torpedoes on the front and on the broad sides as well. This ship was primarily designed, again, as basically a flagship to fight against enemy warships or fighters. It just like its just like its elderly ships, it has a fighter, although this one is now equipped with three cannons instead of one. But they also had to get rid of the bombs because they just wouldn't be able to accommodate that, or else they would have to make the fighter bigger, effectively making the ship a lot less effective in combat. Uh, armor. As you can see, it has no navigation bridge, so the armor is in the front, and as an upgrade, basically, the armor belt on the broadside goes from end all the way to and, and, if I'm not mistaken, it also has armor in the back here. So basically it had protection on just about all sides. It was not equipped with deck armor. They had actually tried putting deck armor on, but it proved to be too heavy and the ship had actually basically well, crushed itself under its own weight during tests. Now, here is the battle bridge, as well, you know, your only bridge in the ship. And it is a lot bigger than the uh, old ones. And I think it has a better view, mainly because of the outcroppings here can actually see kind of like all the way down there. You can kind of see what's beside you. 
Now uh, let's go down to the lower deck. So here is the hallway to get to fighter. Or no, sorry. This is the hallway to get to the torpedoes. You can reload them and fire them here. You can also fire them from the bridge. Back here is the main engine. Now they placed the main engine here because it was a lot more protected in the center of the ship, as you can see here, than if it was, let's say, you know, back here or up here. Because with enough fire, you could easily get through all the armor here. So basically, it was the best place at the time that I thought. The only problem is, is that if it malfunctioned, it would affect the rest of the ship as it was like literally the center and the heart of the ship. And the engines back in the first era weren't exactly the most reliable as I said in my last episode. They didn't really work a lot of the time. 10% of the time they would just simply fail, you know, either just they would just shut down because there was an electrical failure or they would just, you know, simply stop working or they would start smoking and set fire to themselves, effectively setting the rest of the ship on fire. But then there was the 1% chance of them actually exploding. Now that only happened on one ship and I will focus on that ship in a different video but this is not the video for that. Uh, so yeah, here we have the crew quarters. As you can see, the crew quarters has increased in size from the destroyer. Uh, it also has the torpedoes on the broad side here. And then back here is where the fighter is kept. Now, Basically, these ships, they weren't reliable half the time, even though when they were, they were dominating the skies. And w if aimed correctly, the torpedoes would have been able to get through most of a base's defenses extremely easily. Although, since torpedoes are quite unpredictable sometimes back then, it wasn't really the best thing to use. Uh, yeah, so that's going to have to do it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, click that like button. Also, click that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!